beautifuls, it's me Alyssa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have my October Ipsy bag for you guys. I know it's very late. Um, as you guys know, I was sick for a little bit, so I took some time off. But I finally am going to be sharing with you guys my Ipsy bag for October of 2018. I'm so excited, plus I'm getting ready for Halloween. I don't know if you could tell that I am ready for Halloween. But I'm in like the spiritual, sp yeah, like the spiritualness of it, of, of all of it. Like, I don't know. I put on this cross today and I was so excited because it's like one of my favorites. It gives me such kind of Buffy the Vampire Slayer vibes and I love Buffy. So, yep, that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> so... This is this month's Ipsy bag. Plus, I decided to wear some red today because I haven't worn red in a while. I don't know if you can, if you haven't tell, ha, haven't been able to tell that I have not worn red in quite some time. So, this is this month's little bag. I'm hoping you could see. The sun is like very weird today. I don't know why it's not as bright as I. It, it, not bright today. It's just a very kind of I guess cloudy and. Part, like a partly cloudy sunny day so I don't know I'm gonna try to I hope you uh, I hope that you'll be able to see this so this month's bag is super cute because it has a little mask on it it like in detail there's a mask in the bag which is so cute so the bag is red and then you can see all of the beautiful detailing of it it's like a to me this bag is like a matte faux leather bag that's red it's not as red as my shirt but it's still red and I love the detailing of the mask it has like all of these florally and print design imprinted into the bag it looks so super cute I love it and it just has a black zipper lining and a black little zipper that just says the Ipsy logo on it. So, there's the little bag right here. And inside, it is all lined with black. So, that is the bag. And the theme, I believe... On the card it just says, who said nights were for sleep. I feel like the themes are not really that much. <laughs> but I think it's, I think the card's really cute though. It's very nighttime-esque looking. So, very much like that. Kind of almost gives you like a moon vibes right there. So, that is the little card. And then inside is our, all of our little goodies, which I'm so excited for. <laughs> Alright, so. Um, what will I go with first? Um, probably this. This is the eye, this is an eyeshadow. Um, this is from Nomad. I've gotten a couple things from them. I'm not sure if I'm the biggest fan because uh, they're all very quite small little things and I don't really use any big small I don't use like really tiny little products um so this is what it looks like the packaging it's from Nomad I'm thinking that's how you pronounce it they're cruelty free this is one of their Nordic lights intense eyeshadows And I'm believing the shade of this is in Stockholm. I think it's in the shade Stockholm. Or I don't know. It says Neurotic Lights Intense Eyeshadow Nor Norskin. I have no idea. Um, 
but this is what it looks like tiny little thing which I really don't gravitate towards tiny little eyeshadows but this is what it looks like it looks like a really nice pretty blue like it's imprinted within little NM kind of type of thing um, so here's what it looks like. It looks like this pretty kind of mix between a blue with like a purple undertone. Like literally the sh there's like glitter, like very finely milled kind of like shimmer glitter in here. And it looks like it has this purple reflecting in it. So I do like the shade. I think the shade looks pretty. Definitely like, it definitely gives you like nighttime feel vibes for sure. This shadow but i don't reach for tiny shadows and i don't know if i would reach for this so i'm really debating if i should swatch this for you guys or not because i don't necessarily want to swatch things if i know i am not going to use it very pigmented. There's what a swatch of it looks like. It's really pretty. There's definitely the it is definitely the glitter shimmery part in this eyeshadow that gives the purple reflectant. So it's it's very much a blue shadow with that purpley esque reflectant from the glitter shimmer in it but it is pretty it definitely has nighttime vibes in this shadow so i do think it's definitely pretty and i'm gonna have tons of swatches all over me <laughs> but definitely like that i'm gonna put that over there all right so i think we should just continue with the swatching probably all right so the next thing in here and that was cruel that was cruelty free yeah they're crusty free. All right, the next thing in here is a Radiant Glow Highlighter in Prosecco from Ibby or I-B-Y Beauty. I don't know how to pronounce this brand. I've actually never heard of this brand, to be quite honest. So I do not know, per se, what this um, little thing is, but the packaging is really pretty. It's really pretty, guys. And I'm kind of, like, really excited that it's called Prosecco because... I have some things that are called like rosé champagne and stuff, so I'm kind of liking the feel and stuff of this like naming here, and um, they are cruelty free, in case you guys are wondering. The packaging, even this little guy, look at that, that is pretty, it's like a nudie pink color, or just like a nudish kind of color. But isn't this like packaging like so pretty? I am loving this. So it's called Prosecco, which is making me happy, which I know I'm definitely gonna use this because let's be honest, I'm loving the name and yeah, that is pretty. can see it blends into my skin pretty fairly so I don't know if it swatches super well on me um since I am very kind of light I'll try to swatch it somewhere else since that was probably a bad swatch but but to me it, it looks like this maybe nudie-esque champagne kind of color it looks pretty i'm loving this so got that little one and it's very finely milled the shimmer so super pretty and then next in here is a little blush from morphe which i don't own any morphe products like physical products 
and this is one of their blushes in blend the rules so and the packaging is super sleek like this packaging right here so like the paper packaging is like and on the side it tells you the shade which i think is super cool Is that in the shade Blend the Rules or it's in the shade Spirit? I'm confused now. Unless that's just the logo. Oh no, it's in the shade Spirit. I think it, okay. This is really nice. Look how pretty. But this is in the shade Spirit. I thought it said Blend the Rules. That would've been cool, funny if that, that's a good quote though let's just be honest like blend the rules like that is literally and this shade is definitely amazing and i think the quote on the side is just fantastic okay but the shade in here let's be honest this is pretty there is light sh there's very finely milled shimmer in there but this looks like the kind of like a I think rosy tone, like a dusty rose. It's definitely buildable. Not much of the shimmer picks up actually in this blush. I think it's just like that. Oh my God, I'm gonna lip gloss all over me. Oh my gosh. Sorry guys. Um, I don't think the shimmer goes all the way through permanently i think it's just a layer because when i swatch it it's not very prominent when you swatch it so it's just very much like a matte blush but the shade is nice it's definitely like a dusty kind of rosy tone which i love because i love these kinds of shades and stuff like this so I'm actually pretty excited. It will definitely be great for fall and winter for this blush to be used. So I'm pretty excited about it. So you'll definitely see me using that very soon at some point. And then we have a lip gloss from Lorizzi Lor Cosmetics. I've never heard of this brand either. And this is one of their lip glosses. And they're cruelty free and it's paraben free as well which is amazing so i've never heard of this brand so i'm not quite sure what they have but i got one of their little lip glosses which is pretty cool nice packaging nice matte black with like rose gold um lettering so this is their and it's called aura which is making me think of people that need their auras fluffed, which I probably need one. I probably need a good fluffing of an aura. But it looks super cool. It, I think it, you know what it reminds me of? I think it reminds me almost of like Aurora Borealis. I think it looks like that, like something like that. Like I, really nice it's like it appears in the bottle almost like an opal essic yeah it looks, looks like something kind of like an opal essic kind of looking in here but then when you swatch it you have like all of these different dimensions of like colors like it's like a purpley pinky type of shade kind of shimmer glitter it's like a clear gloss almost very much like one when, when you swatch it and then it has these reflectance of like a purpley pinky undertone but what i think i like about it is that it definitely is probably very much like a topper gloss like not something to be wear wear to wear on its own because i don't think it probably would just look good on bare lips but maybe paired under kind of maybe like the right 
lipstick maybe you could do like a white lipstick and then pair this and then make this kind of like pop out or maybe like a black lipstick to make it pop out more since it has those purpley pinky kind of finely milled glitter kind of like undertones into it so that is something to think about if you're using kind of like lip glosses that kind of have like this super kind of like dimensional kind of lookingness to it so that you can really make it pop with some kind of like darker shade underneath it or something like that to complement this kind of reflectant coloring well and i really think something like either the white or the black would probably pop make this color pop out more but it does give me like aurora borealis vibes kind of like op it looks opalescent um in the little bag so loving that and then lastly i got a hair mask which i i have said in i said in my previous ipsy bag that because i got a one in my previous ipsy bag a hair mask um so it has been a while since i've gotten hair masks and i'm starting to get them again i don't know what that means um i feel like i haven't gotten any in a while because you know i maybe somehow the universe knew i have this super short hair and i don't really need to tame it as much maybe but um i do need i do need an i do need a hair straightener i had one but then i had to throw it out because it was not working it was not good it was definitely broken because it was starting to smell weird when it was heating up so i threw it out so i need to go find i need to go find myself a new one at some point and really make that effort because i would really like to straighten my hair at some point <laughs> Um, I like my hair straight, I think. I feel like I'm not like a, I don't know, I don't really want to deal with waviness anymore of my hair. But, um, I got this little hair mask. Um, so this one, it, it, all my hair masks that I do get are very hydrating ones because I say that I need, like, moisture back into my hair, which I, which I do need. I need, like, reviving it. <laughs> so this is the Verb Manage and Restore Hydrating Mask. It's, um has no parabens no gluten and no sulfates in it and they are also cruelty free and um that's great so here's what it looks like it's a very super kind of white milky-esque looking mask and it smells like it smells like a smell what's in here Smells kind of almost citrusy look smelling, but I don't think there's citrus in here. But it smells pretty nice. Doesn't smell bad. Definitely gonna give this a go because I do love trying out tiny little thing like little hair mask and little tiny little trout size bottles. <laughs> and if they're hydrating for my hair, then I'm definitely gonna give them a go. So I definitely do have some new hair mask now because I think I finished a majority of the ones I did have back when I had longer hair um earlier this year so I do think I did finish the majority of the ones I had so I didn't have any for a while so I guess I'm back I guess I'm starting a new little collection up so definitely gonna be trying that um so there's what it looks like it just looks very kind of white milky-esque looking but looks nice and it smells pretty good doesn't smell bad it smells kind of herbally kind of citrusy smelling maybe that's just me smelling it but um it smells pretty good like it's not bad smelling at all like i think herbs and citrusy smells are pretty good smells so if they're in a combo kind of situation then this this one is, this is what it actually smells like it smells like a herbal citrus scent which i don't mind so that is what we got for this little hair mask. And, and that's actually everything I got in my October Ipsy bag for 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope it was helpful for you guys. Um, I love doing my Ipsy's and my BoxyCharm unboxings for you guys. So I hope it was exciting for you to see what I think about these. Like, and if I'm excited to be actually trying them at some point soon. So, yeah. 
thank you guys so much for watching and have and i hope you all have a wonderful october um i hope you had i hope you also have a safe and happy halloween um in case i don't see you um until halloween or probably afterwards um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and have a beautiful magical day and i'll see you on my next video love you guys bye